we're going to talk about self-checking and what does this hold for the hospitality world now i i say i read your blog on it it piqued my interest it got me investigating into it further i know there'll be a lot of people who tune into this and whether it's on video or on the audio and they'll be going well i ought to do self-checking but there are so many that don't and there's reasons for and why they do this but i just wanted to go right to the very beginning and the first question that i'd like you to elaborate on in simple terms is what does self-checking mean to you how how does it work and, and like I say it's the simplest way what is a self-checking well, at a high level it's um having it so the guests can check in on their own without anyone there to greet them so whenever they arrive their flights delayed you don't as an airbnb host you don't need to be waiting and waiting wondering when they're going to come uh so essentially there's either i guess two buckets one have both similar one having a an old school lockbox that has a key so you you know enter in a little code open it up get the key and you can check in uh or having varying degrees of newer smarter locks that either have pin codes on it or uh you know are connected to your your phone with an app that automatic automatically unlocks it uh so there's different ways but essentially that you you don't need to be there for them to check in there are a lot of people watching or, or listening to this and they will fall under B&B guest house hotel owner on my right hand side here and on my left hand side we'll have the rental owner now like we say when it comes to rental specifically when you don't live on site the self check in will be something that you are more commonly known for like you say the the, the key or the, the padlock like we have the, the key combination but there's obviously pitfalls to that um now could you just sort of elaborate for people who don't know some potential pitfalls when it comes to having a self-checking system? I'd say three, um, three big buckets would be just the technology failing, uh, the guest experience standpoint, having a decreased quality on that, and then uh, some safety measures when you don't have a, uh, a person there greeting them. So taking each of those one at a time, the technology failing, that's obvious. I heard about a, some, I forgot which system it was, and I don't want to bad mouth it anyways, but one smart lock, there was some system update that just automatically happened and they got bricked and they just literally didn't work on, unless you had to physically go and do a factory reset of those smart locks. So imagine if it's a vacation home and you're not near there and the guest goes in and they can't, <laughs> it's, it's broken, they can't get in, you know, having an old school key, you're kind of wishing for that at that time. Uh, so you need to make sure you have some kind of backup, especially if it's not your home and you're not there. So in general, related to self check-in, but just things to think about when having, um, when wanting to make it personal, there's ways to do it without you actually being there, right? So you can have automated emails and texts that get sent to the guests before they arrive, uh, as well as after they've arrived, you know, the next day, send them a, a text, whether you're personally doing it or through your property management software, just checking in, making sure everything's okay. Uh, also, of course, our guidebook really help in that area because it both it makes you look more professional and gives you a personal experience uh, in general to, to that guest. Do you know, like they say, there's so much software and app out there that technology now just makes it phenomenally easy, even if you're on the other side of the world, to make sure that A, the guest can find you okay, uh, B, the guest can get in, but once they're in, there's no mad party going on. You know who's coming in, they say who they are. And you, like you say, you can get all of the documentation, all of the agreements signed even before they they arrive. One of the big pain points that I have of running a guest house is you've got set check-in times. How could self-check-in with the technology that you've described, how do you feel in your opinion? I know I've got, I've got my opinion, but how do you feel in, in your opinion um, that guest house owners can adopt the self-in checking process specifically of all the technology that is now available depends on their specific house uh, there's many ways of doing it so the hardest might be if it's actually a uh, apartment in a big downtown building where there's you know you need to have that key so you can't use a smart lock but there's still been technology that's helped that out for example key cafe is a business where you can go to a local cafe and and get the key there to to go in mm -hmm. uh and i'd say it it depends on your your comfort level as to exactly how much you want to install. So I, I hear what you're saying about having the, the issues with someone not putting a key back mm -hmm. or it being cold and the, and the button's not working. So I think having that redundancy is the best, just knowing you have the, the 